welcome to our next our third video in this upscript ep episode so we want to continue from where we left the last time the last time we used a sidebar and a custom script to populate our dates today what we want to do is something that we call form limitation so let us assume that you have an event which is coming up and these are the dates for the sessions of the event and when for every session let's say you want 20 people to attend so when they are registering for the sessions when 20 people register when the first 20 people register for wednesday you want wednesday to be removed from the list of options so in order to do this let's do what we did the last time again we had we already had a sidebar well so the code we are going to use today is mutually exclusive you don't need a pre-existing code that we use in the other video but this is just going to help us make the work easier so let me just run my side by again i have my sidebar selected among the lists of functions that i have let me run it again so that i can get a sidebar so it's completed so when i come as you see the sidebar and so i want to change these again let's say our event will start on monday for demonstration sake it should be just a two days event then let me run it and populate the dates so i have two dates populated that's okay so what we are going to do so we have our dates populated for demonstration sake you can have like thousand people per session whatever you want but because i want the video to be shorter i will make it three days per section so when three three the first three people select monday monday should be removed from the list that i have here if three people also select tuesday tuesday should be removed so that is the functionality that i have already written the code sorry let me just copy the code and then i'll just quickly go through okay yeah up to this point control c and then let me go back into my script editor let me cancel this and add well, it's refreshing okay control v so that is my code written out you don't really have to understand the code is just some small portions of it that you are going to change so you have to input your form id here then you have to input your question id over here and the only part that you have to change is this number the number three that you see over over here if you want 20 people per session you should come and change this number and so let's get our form id and our question id so we get our form id by selecting from this point all the way to where you see the edit so Control c i've selected it i'll go back into my script editor and paste my form id and then we need our question id you realize that's for our question this index one this index zero first question and index one but we do not need the question indexes we need their id so how do we get the idea i wrote a second script which can help you get the ids of all the questions in your form so i would have to the code can only work with question id like it doesn't work with the indexes so i will paste that code over here and then i will save it you realize that the function okay i have a syntax error at line 83. let me just okay let me resave it and see let me just pause the video and come back okay so i think the problem was is that this curly braces terminates this curly braces so what is this curly braces? we have to write another one to make it terminate and that should solve the problem and then when i save it it should i shouldn't have any syntax error again okay so now we want the our question id so that we can input that question id here that is the second question you realize that in the form we have only two questions and so the way i can get these question ids is to run this function there's no need setting up a script for it so i will navigate from open sidebar to law question ids and then when i run it i should see two 
no item with the given id could be found possibly because you have not edited this item or oh, oh i think i made a mistake so for this law question id as well you need to input the form's id in order for it to capture the form and log the ids of that question so that's what i missed so I'll go back into my google form and let me reselect the id of the form Control c and then let me come back here and control paste it Control v so i now have the google forms id i resave it and i already have law question id this function selected so all i have to do is run it again and now when i run it i get the question id this is the first question the question that we are working with is the date so i can just copy it Control c I really do not need this function again i will just remove it but i would include it in the url i put in the description so you can pick it and use it now i come back into my own on form submit function and come and paste my question id that was the question i want to pick let me resave it and then as i mentioned the only part of the code that you change is this part if choice counts is equal to of the answer is equal to three and then i want to remove that question so if you want 20 people to be able to select any of the dates that you put here or any item at all that you put there this is the only part of the code that you are going to change but i want to maintain mine at three because i want to work with three so i have saved my script but i have to set a trigger for the on form submit so that it runs any time that somebody submits my form in order to keep count of so i'm setting a trigger for on form submits it's a head it should be from form and it should be when someone submits a form and then i have to save it so it has now been saved so i go back into my editor I think everything is fine now my form is set up I can close the sidebar now I don't really need it so now let's test it out and see how it works so I come here let's say my name is Mavis Mavis wants to attend the event on a Monday and I say submit Mavis has submitted a response in this one I want to monitor the execution um today is 21st um it's 12 13 okay i think it's just completed okay so when we select it three times when we select monday three times monday should be removed so philip wants to also attend the event on a monday and then i submit let me just monitor it being exit so it's running okay it should be complete now when i refresh so it's completed good so it's all running without any failure these failures were as well when i was testing out it earlier but i have everything well now so let's see um jennifer also wants to attend the event on a monday now there's a third submission when i submit and i come back the monday should be removed from the list it's running let me refresh and see whether it's complete it's completed so it's completed successfully so let's see so you see monday is removed from the list because our session for that has ended we only need three submissions but let's say you have one let's continue let's say we, we have only one last date left on your form when people select this date what happens so let's quickly go through this let's say um somebody say somebody called king oh so he has no option because there's only one last choice left king submits for a a thursday it's completed so he runs successfully um let's say there's another called uganda <laughs> or somebody we called uganda nothing is coming in mind so you submit 
that one should also run successfully and complete we took two second two seconds that's longer but it doesn't matter yeah it's it's run successfully so now there's only one last option when the last person submits let's say theresa is coming to submit for their last tuesday she wouldn't know because she's a respondent but when she submits there will be no slots left for tuesday so let's submit should also run successfully now let me just pause for a second what do you think will happen to this when i open fans so yeah i created a fallback when all the days are exhausted I created it in the script and you can actually edit it whatever information you want to put there so I created this fallback that when all my days are selected and there's nothing more left this is where you can change the information you want to display dates exhausted you can select and submit this option we'll get back to you if there is another slot available so you still give people the opportunity let's say Gabriel he opened the form and all the slots are selected. Give him the opportunity to select. It will give you a fair idea the number of people who wanted to, to um, attend your event and who came and the dates are exhausted. And then you say submit. When you go here, you should actually see um, Gabriel's response. Oh, I can't select it like that, right? Individual. Gabriel was the last person. It's um five six seven yeah so gabriel he had no choice than to select that so that is how this script works so you can copy it from the url and use it the only part you have to change is change the id of the form replace it with the how do you call it the id of the question and then the fallback message that you want to display so that is it Thank you for joining us and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel i'm going to build on this there are so many other things i want to do with this form so see you later bye